there is a scene in avesham regarding damsharads it develops more tension and anxiety within you as a viewer than any moment in a high octane action film like bade miya chote miya that's the difference that's the wide gap that exists technically of one of the most expensive projects that released this year versus this mad film mad film from malayalam cinema that is so proficient technically and from a storytelling point of view i just have to rave about it and tell you that contrast There is an ongoing debate among Fafa fans that they are tired of seeing the actor in supporting roles in pan-Indian films and want to see more of him in Malayalam film productions. While the pan-Indian audience is absolutely loving the fact that Fahad is associating with various industries across languages, the purists who have seen him evolve in Malayalam cinema slightly felt over the last few years that he had abandoned the industry at least momentarily. I mean, I don't blame him. You've got to cement your place beyond the confines of the state, and this is what actors like Prithvi Raj. and dulkar have been attempting also avesham however has been a knockout ever since its promotional material has been releasing jeetu madhavan after the success of romancham signing fahad fasil in a crazy role who wouldn't sign up for it while there were rumors that the movie is going to be connected to the romancham universe the director confirmed that it's a stand alone film and i'll be honest i just went with the expectations that this may be a carefree and mildly entertaining film but can i just tell you this movie experience is probably the most i have laughed and clapped in the theater this year This wild ride focuses on three students Aju, Bibi and Shantan who moved to Bangalore for college and the conflict that they get embroiled in with a senior who has local support and influence as the trio gets humiliated by Kutti and his gang the friends from Kerala aim to scout for a gangster that can help them teach the warring gang a lesson in comes Ranga played by Fahad Fasil an eccentric unpredictable gangster with a heart who crosses paths with the three boys and in turn becomes their family the boys initially love this as association for the merits that come with his influence but find themselves in a predicament as they can't get rid of him too the wild events that follow forms the basic premise of one of the most entertaining films i've seen this year hands down the film captures the abandon and escapism one dreams of when pursuing college outside of their home state the debauchery and indulgence that follows with the freedom young adults always wished for cinematographer samir tahir captures the densely populated cramped up hostels identical to most of our experiences as one unwinds with friends in the late evening and gets consumed by even minor inconveniences one is holding meetings regarding adding the smallest points of conflict in college and banding together to form gangs and insight into a part of our lives where we take life too seriously and our bruised egos lead to some of the most catastrophic decisions can i please somehow kidnap sushant sham and make him do a score for a heist film or a comedy film in hindi cinema because he seems to have nailed the hipster yet commercial balance required for movies that communicate with the young demographic he did it with bhishma parvam did it with romancham and manjumal boys and shines in this film leaving his stamp in several instances making him truly one of my favorite music composers working in india currently what i find so hilarious about this film from a plot standpoint is that when characters in their young adult life usually visit pubs and clubs to interact with the opposite sex we find three principal characters attempting to recruit gangsters from the shadiest bars in bangalore such a hilarious concept on paper executed so well what i love about malayalam cinema in an era where actors in the age of 30 to 40 are still playing young adults malayalam cinema is actually one of the only industries that are casting actors that are age appropriate you had naslin and mamita in premalu just recently and you've got the trio of hipster mithun and roshan in this film the shocking concept of actually casting young people for young roles i can't tell you however how my theater went wild the moment fahad was introduced as ranga just the staging of the scene in a fucking urinal of all places the screen presence was truly elite i couldn't stop smiling i couldn't stop clapping it was just perfectly packaged 
This is true for his right-hand man Amban played by Sojin Gopu as well. If you thought that the duo of Munna and Circuit were funny, these two really take the cake of being an electric and hilarious gangster duo we desperately needed. You know like Pran's Chacha Chaudhary became a comic book series, I would love a tinkle offshoot or a comic book series on these two because the circumstances they find themselves in are hilarious and endless. The comic book strips they executed for Minnal Murli is the least these delicious characters deserve. The film tethers the thin line between being absurd and straight up cool. The performances never transition to become gimmicky. It's just an example of artists understanding the pitch of the film and acing it. Characters like Ranga and Amban can easily come across as foolish and over the top, but both the actors bring such humanity to these characters while mostly partaking in outlandish activities. You've got Fahad dancing in his towel before a fight, making cringe reels on the music he loves, and it all creates a beautiful concoction of a character that just deserves his own spin-off. The film expands on the circumstances through physical comedy and one-liners, absolutely hitting the nail on the head with its gags. Be it trying to impress the boys with a gun or the legend of Ranga being explained by all the gang members. There was not a moment where the screenplay gets a sense of boredom and exhaustion. I did feel that the integration of Mansoor Ali Khan was slightly underwhelming, a person who I just simply detest for his personal takes playing the role of Ranga's guru, neither packed the laughs or had any significant impact with his screen presence. Seeing Fahad's physical ability in the pre-interval scene was such a joy, as Amban joins in to beat Kutti and his gang, only for Ranga to announce that the boys are his own family in the college. I couldn't stop laughing when he transitions to Kannada and Hindi to make sure he gets his point across. The pre-interval scene is still so vivid in my memory. As the trio of boys become an active part of Ranga's life, their college life takes a backseat, severely affecting their future prospects and this is where the inescapable nature of Ranga's influence dawns on them. This is where shit gets real and Fahad's unpredictability as Ranga keeps you on the edge of your seat. The portions of his flashback, the man he becomes, it all becomes frightening. This is where the tension builds and Fahad really makes sure that Avesham is his show. Not restricted to stylized action set pieces where he excels like a bona fide action star by the way, but a movie with heart too. Who knew they could unironically give a tribute to KGF and its score and still make you emotional? This is a wild ride that especially makes you want to revisit it for the sheer pandemonium it caused in a packed theatre. I was in fucking Noida and the Malayalam audience made sure that the atmosphere felt like Kochi. A brilliant concoction of laughs, mad action set pieces and a Fahad Fasil who is so electric, I want to see him as Ranga even after this and hear him say, Ada mone. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Avesham. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle's right in front of you. Follow me at jammypants4. Also, please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.